Bang! What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out, Mikey Dad, whatever. Today I'm doing cleaning products. I get a lot of requests being out in the street, camping, having conversations with people about what to use on what material, how much, how little, what brushes, just overall, what's good. So in today's episode, what I want to do is just touch base on all of those things. I mean, I know you watch those videos for Jason Mark or whatever cleaner and stuff. Oh, 15 seconds later, it's clean as shit. That's not real. Uh, so I'm going to go outside, get some dirt, bring it back in, give you a little sparkle on some new stuff. I'm going to dirty up my kicks for you, basically. Uh, probably going to mess up a pair of kicks, too, just to show you what Jason Mark will do to a uh, new buck. Because I did it to that pair already. I'll just do it to the other side of the shoe. And uh, repellents, obviously. We're going to touch base on that. Prefrotec, my personal favorite, but you'll find out why in a couple minutes. Uh, so give me one second. I'm going to reposition so you're not looking at me anymore. And uh, we're going to get right into it. All right. All right, yeah, the other pair is worse. Now, it's suede, so we're going to see if we're going to be able to get that bleeding denim off the top of that collar. The, the midsole is a little dirty, so I'll probably shoot that little cleaning tool. And, uh, yeah, next up I have a pair of... Concepts Gel Light 3, 25th anniversary, labeled the American Revolution. There will not be a review up yet. Uh, I was one of the top six that was able to get the wooden tea crate, but I wasn't carrying it home because that's just crazy. So I have to go pick it up from a friend's house. So I'm just going to crep these for you guys to show you what the crep looks like, working, not working, the amount to use, where to apply from, how many times to layer, that, and whatever have you. I'm also going to show you the repel well, but I'm not going to use it on these because I'm not messing these up. And then last but not least, I pulled out a leather pair. I had to clean them anyway, so I might as well clean these. I mean, whatever. Midsole's a little dirty. You can see there's a little dirt on the top of the toe box there. I don't know where that dope comes from, but it, it keeps popping up. Uh, I'm not going to coat these with anything. On the right, what I have are all the tools that I use to clean, uh, starting off with this little Timberland brush that I got. use it for all my Tims, but sometimes, you know, I use it on my sneakers, but mainly it's for my Timberlands just to brush out whatever dirt is on there. And it kind of revives the uh, the feel of the Timberland too, depending on what Tim you're wearing. It doesn't really make a difference, but it revives it. Not in like a crazy way. It's not going to bring your shoe back to brand new, but it'll clean up most of the stuff. Next, what I have, it's a toothbrush, standard toothbrush, nothing crazy. But if you're not using a toothbrush to clean your shoes, then you haven't been cleaning shoes that long. Next, the very used Jason Mark brush. You can see all the wear and tear on that bad boy. But I only use it with Jason Mark, so remember to do that. When you're using brushes, uh, try and use one cleaner per brush. I know you're cleaning it when you're done, but sometimes there's residue left around. Like right now, I could feel the Jason Mark within the wood. Not within it, but I could feel it like on like on the brush. You could, whatever, I feel it. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, obviously, there's a Reshuvenator brush, so I only use Reshuvenator with this brush. Next, it's a Tim brush because I don't like using cleaners on cleaning brushes on my other things such as my Tim's or possibly, you know, ASIC or whatever. So I keep one brush just to, just to brush other stuff. I don't know what I'm brushing, but I'm brushing other stuff. Then I have my, my on the go brush where I just use to more or less clean the soles of shoes. This is only for sole cleaning. I don't know what kind of cleaner I'm using. Sometimes I'll grab whatever's around and I just brush the sole just to keep it a little brighter for my trip out, or whatever I'm doing. Lastly, there's the microfiber brush from Jason Mark. I, I will stand by their products. They put out a lot of good stuff for your shoes, wiping down and cleaning. I have to wash this thing a lot, but it is what it is. Now, when I'm cleaning leather with Jason Mark, I don't particularly watch the dosage. So I usually just go crazy. You know, just want to dunk the brush, drip it, and then hit it with, that's one, two, three, four shots. Now, if you've used Jason Mark before, you know if you don't put any on, it doesn't foam up. And if it doesn't foam, it's not cleaning, right? So apply to the brush, dunk again, rinse the brush off. There's really no dirt on these, but like I said, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to put it next to the other shoe and let it dry for about 25, 30 minutes. Or probably longer than that because it's suede so it's going to take a while but you can see it's fully in there it's definitely wet whatever we'll see if it discolors little light music for the background uh let's hop into these bad boys 
Since I have the Jason Mark out, I'm gonna jump into the fragments. They're dirty as hell. I'm gonna clean these bad boys up. Box back over here. Now, obviously, I didn't use enough before. So I'm gonna use Jason Mark on one shoe, and then I'm gonna use Rishuvenator on the other shoe. It's not really gonna make a difference, but you know, depending on what you like to purchase, maybe you have more leather shit. You can see I'm, I'm going heavy as well. I just let it flow. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my laces out. I didn't do that on the other shoe because I really don't care about the other shoe, but if you're gonna be cleaning your shoes, at any point in time, what you want to do is always take the laces out when you clean. One, because the bristles on the brush are pretty strong. And if you run them across the laces, you're going to wind up pulling the fibers out of the lace. That's one. Two, if you're cleaning your shoe, you want to clean the whole shoe. So you want to make sure that you have everything off that's going to hinder you getting every inch of the shoe. So we'll probably fast forward to this part. I'm take And we're back. <clears throat> back. Now, you might have noticed when I was taking the laces out during that little speed lapse there, time lapse, there's a shoe tree on the inside of the shoe. It's from a shoe so if you buy this and you just spend an extra couple of bucks, it comes with a few extra things. The shoe will give you the shoe trees for when you're cleaning a shoe. They give you a bag to wash your shoes in if you do wash your shoes. And obviously, this stuff and a brush. Uh, I keep those in these at all times just because I love these shoes. Aside from that, it makes it a lot easier to clean when you're holding it from the inside also. Instead of sticking your whole hand inside the toe box, you can just hold right here. I mean, you don't want to pull on it, but you just want to hold it when you're cleaning the shoe. All right, I'm gonna hop right into it now. Let's get it. Always want to drain your brush so you're not just throwing water around, you're actually gonna be using the foam. There you have it. Jason Mark leather, not really a problem. It's easy to clean, it's easy to wipe off. I didn't go back to the other shoe yet. I'm gonna give that a little bit more time to dry off so you can see the discoloration between the two. I could already see it from here, but I'll wait a little longer because maybe shift my eyes so you guys can see. Uh, as you can see, I, I went thorough on the inside of the shoe, right inside there, and all the dirt's not even off yet. So I'm definitely gonna have to go over it again. So just a heads up, like if you clean it one time, you know, it's, it's not that it's an instant cleaner. It's, you know, a couple times you got to go over it. Sometimes it's got to soak in a little bit, whatever, whatever have you. I'm going to clean the next shoe with the Repel Well, or what is this thing? With the Rejuvenator. And it's going to be the same outcome. I'm also going to clean the bottom of the sole just because I want to clean them anyway. Uh, cleaning the sole, it doesn't matter how much you use. This is all rubber. So it doesn't really make a difference what you use or how you use it. If you turn over so you see what I'm looking at. Also, once again, don't forget to take your laces out. You'll notice that I also didn't clean this area. One, because there's no dirt. Two, I don't feel like it. Three, there's really no need to. Um, and I would want to use something different for the nylon. Not that you have to worry about just coloring black if you can't just color black, but I'm a little crazy sometimes. So I like to make sure that I cover all bases when I'm doing that. Maybe I'll just use a little bit of uh, cleaning detergent, but not with a lot of water so it doesn't soak in, it just covers the top. Uh, let's go to the next shoe, start another time lapse so you guys can see me going over that one. I'm gonna hop into the Rejuvenator next. I'm gonna put this back over here. Still waiting for this toe box to finish up, see what the color looks like. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Basically, I'm gonna go crazy, because uh, one, I don't like to use it sparingly on leather, just because you're cleaning leather, who really cares? doesn't really make a difference. It's not going to harm the shoe. It's not going to hurt the shoe to have extra foam. Now, as you can see, it doesn't really make a difference what cleaner you use on leather, you're going to clean the leather. It's not that difficult. Like I said, once again, I didn't touch the upper on the tongue just because I don't want to touch the upper on the tongue. I just got that styrofoam on the inside and I really don't like to mess around with that, but We'll get into that another time. Anyway, like I said, Jason Mark, 
Rejuvenator. They're both gonna clean as much as you want them to clean. Uh, I'm gonna go back over and touch this one more time on the inside just because, I don't know if I did, if I paid more attention to detail on this one or if I didn't pay more attention, it doesn't make a difference. Either way, I'm gonna go back, go over it again, and I'll have it clean. But like I said, leather is leather. You're never gonna have a problem cleaning it. Same thing with rubber. You're, you're never gonna have a problem cleaning it. So, I mean, whatever. Let's hop back into the dunk. All right, now it's almost dry. I don't know if this is still wet or if it's discolored yet. So I, I should probably wait another couple seconds before I hop right into it. But if you'll notice, I only used three or four drops on this one. So before I, yeah, maybe maybe that's the only shit. So before I even make any judgment call on the Jason Mark and the coloration, I spoke with one of the represent, uh, representatives at a sneaker show. And one of them was like, oh, it doesn't discolor suede. And the other guy knew exactly what I was talking about. And he said, you used two maybe three drops of Jason Mark to clean your suede. And I was like, there's no way I'm ever gonna take that chance again. I'll show you another pair of shoes that I messed up just like this that I really like. Um, it was my highs and lows Gelite threes from the bricks and mortar pack. I think it was like a year ago, two years, whatever it is. I'll bring them out, I'll take a couple pictures, I'll put them up in the video. In any case, I did the same thing to this shoe where I overused the Jason Mark. And apparently I overused it because from what it looks like right now, I still have the brush on the suede. I have no real discoloration as of yet, which is actually great to see, and it's nice, but I don't know if that's just because it was all water or if there was actually cleaner in there. So I'm gonna try and find another pair of suede. Oh, I'm gonna try it on the, the denim. That'll work out. Uh, so let's put this back on the side. They know everyone will talk shit. Where'd you get your dirt from? I live in New York, so. It's hard to find. Whatever. All right, guys, I'm back. So I took the liberty of taking the laces out prior to the video starting. I'm going to grab this brush. I have the dirt here. I'm just gonna get a little dirt on the shoes right now. See if I can actually get it in there. Like I said, definitely gonna ruin a pair of shoes doing this, but I don't care. I'm gonna get it dirty, then I'm just gonna fucking go into the repel well section. So I'll let this set in for a little bit. I'll hop into the other dunk that looks pretty dry now that we've done all this. Dirty ass street water. Let's get this out of here. I'll go clean this in a minute. I'll put this on the side, put this to the side, let it dry, come back to this. All right. Now, I can see a little discoloration, not too bad considering. But, I mean, it's still discoloration. I mean, I thought it was gonna dry and look a little better, but no, you could definitely see that there's a slight discoloration in using the Jason Mark on the suede, so I would suggest never using it on suede. That, that's just me personally. I, I, I'm not like, you know, anybody credible, but I'm just somebody who cleans shoes with Jason Mark in front of you. So, from what I can see, I, I still get a brush on the suede, which is good. It didn't flatten it at all, but there's also a discoloration to the suede. Not as heavy as this one, because I used a lot more Jason Mark when I cleaned this toe box a long time ago, but you, there's still discoloration. So just to shoot it out there, you can even see it more on the side. This isn't even wet anymore, and you can see it, that there's discoloration. Let's go from this portion. All right, let's get that out of the way. All right, let me, uh, let me go grab those pieces. All right, guys, uh, drop a little bomb in here. Bang. Basically, uh, what I have here are what I said before. Concepts, 25th anniversary, gel light three, size 11, my size, of course. I'm gonna do a review later, so you guys can see all this stuff, but uh, right now what I wanna do is get into doing a repellent. Show you guys how to use the repellent, the proper amount of layers, distance, all that good stuff. Now, let me get this stuff out of here. As you can hear, I got a little Drake going on in the background. I'm gonna grab this crap protect. I will not use Jason Mark on these. I'll show you what Jason Mark looks like on a different pair of shoes, like I said before. All right, guys, back at it. You already see what these are. Concepts, Gel Light 3, 25th anniversary. They just dropped yesterday. I will do a review on them later on. Uh, I like them a lot, whatever. Well, I'll tell you why later. Uh, right now, I wanna repel them or put a repellent on them. I'm gonna use Crep Protect. 
as you can see here. Uh, if you're in New York City, the only retailer I know that carries them, just out of my knowledge, you can look it up, is uh, Extra Butter on the, in the Lower East Side. So if you want to pick some up, that's where you want to go to do it. Otherwise, you can just order the stuff, which is easy enough. Uh, I use it mainly because I've used it on a pair before, and uh, it works very well. And also, I've used the Repel Well from Jason Mark as well on another pair of shoes. And I'll explain the difference shortly. I almost broke my table. I'll explain the difference why and show you the difference why I like Reprotec better. But for now, I go as close as possible, which is, you know, about here. Make sure it coats it clearly. You can see it going on. Do the whole shoe thoroughly. You can take the laces out to do it as well, but... Honestly, if you're putting your foot that far into water with a split tongue, you're pretty much going to be screwed anyway. Just throwing it out there. You want to make sure you get the crevices as well, very well. Like I said, you want to see the discoloration from spraying this stuff on. Ten minutes. All right. Uh, my dirt's probably set into this pretty well now. Let's see if there's a difference in the toe box. Not really much of a difference, but whatever. I did put dirt on it, so whatever. Just so you have something to go by. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Jesus Christ. These things are so dirty. I'm going to attempt to clean this area here with... Let's see. Let's try the mint brush first. Since I haven't showed you guys that yet. Turn it on the side. Mint brush. Yeah, it's lighter. Looks a little lighter at least. Probably a couple more times I'll get that all off. But like I said, I'm trying to keep this short. So I'll put that eraser. This is the lighter side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and see if it takes it completely out since it's so light on this side. Now, as you can see, I didn't go too hard and I didn't go too much. I only did one round and it's already lighter than it was before. So, like I said, I, I honestly use this for everything when it comes to suede and new buck. It keeps it soft. It keeps it light. A couple brushes. It brings it back to life if you're flattening it with the brush, but you with the eraser. But you really don't get too much flattening with the eraser because it's pulling the fibers up as you're using it, which is why I use it. So, like I said. I'm going to try a different foam cleaner. What do we got here? Suede New Buff Foaming Cleaner. That's actually not too bad. I don't see any discoloration. I'm going to let it dry for a little bit and then revisit the actual pair. Let me use the brush a little bit. Yeah, let me let this dry for a little bit and then we'll hop back into that. All right, so it looks pretty dry on the toe box, but the toe cap looks pretty wet still. So I'm going to put it to the side and let it dry off a little while, and then I'll hop back into something else. All right, guys, I'm back again. I decided to grab another pair of new buck or suede shoes to try and give you a better idea. You can see the toe cap on this bad boy is a little busted up. I wore them the other day, or one of the days to the concepts release. I got a little dirt towards the back here on the heel. Uh, the sole's pretty dirty. Uh... Yeah, both of them are pretty dirty, so it should be a good cleaning job we got going on here. But I'm going to attempt the suede first with the eraser, because I just like the eraser that much. I feel like that dump wasn't showing enough dirt, so let me turn this around. Now, if you'll notice, I'm using Jason Mark on the suede or the, uh, the midsole only because I like Jason Mark the most when it comes to cleaning leather or things of this nature. I will be using the tooth brush because I don't want the Jason Mark to touch the suede because I will be using a large amount of Jason Mark. I'm actually going to apply some more to the tooth brush just so I know it's on there even though I've been dunking it in the water. And I'm going to saturate it. I will saturate it just because I feel like if it doesn't foam, it's not working. Shake it. Get low. I'll start back here because there's more rubber back here and I want it to foam first.
You'll notice that the absorbed foam on the New Balance is a lot different than the leather on or the rubber on the Fragment, where it's not coming completely clean. The absorbed foam that's on these bad boys isn't really like leather, as you can see. As much as it takes the shock of your foot stepping in it and making it so comfortable, it also holds the dirt. Like if you stain it or you rub it against something, it's going to stay. I'll show you the other side. You can see that there. I'll be able to get the rest of this stuff off, but this little portion here is going to get lighter, but sad to say it's not going to get much cleaner. You'll also notice it has more of a yellow tinge to it, but I mean, there's really nothing you could do about that. You can just hope to clean it as best you can. That's why I clean these so frequently to make sure I don't let dirt just sit inside of it. Uh, I'm going to flip over to the other side. We'll give you another time lapse. Now you'll notice it got lighter, but once again, like I said, it won't come completely off. I gotta get the heel too, but just to show you the inside of the shoe or the inside of portion where it was dirty, it'll go lighter, it won't come completely off. I don't know what else you could possibly use to take that off without so much as bleaching it. And obviously, you know, if you bleach stuff, it turns yellow. So I try to steer clear of doing that, unless it's like a lace or something that I can easily swap out. Uh, aside from this section here, I can rub that off with the eraser most likely, and I'm gonna give it a try now. So as you can see, the eraser will take that pinkish tinge that was on there off. You don't wanna do that a lot because you wanna stay away from taking layers off of any part of your shoe. It doesn't look like it did that as much as I think it did, but still, I'd wanna be cautious with that. I wouldn't wanna use too much. You can see on the sole as well, the midsole, that it took some of the discoloration off as well, but because of the absorb qualities of the foam on the bottom of this shoe, it has a tendency to peel off because it's so soft. So you don't wanna do that too much. I mean, any sole you do that too, too much is gonna peel off, but you wanna steer clear of doing that on at least a 998 or any kind of New Balance with this absorb foam on it, or any kind of, uh, uh, Saucony Jazz has the same kind of foam bottom to it. Any kind of shoe that has any kind of foam bottom that's not rubber, like the bottom of, per se, a Jordan or Jordan 1 or anything in that matter, or a Dunk, you don't want to try and peel too many layers off because it's not as durable when it comes to something like that. I'm going to hop back into the concepts and do another layer on the Repel. You can also see that the eraser took most of the discoloration off on the toe box as well. So the eraser works the best for me. Uh, like I said, I don't like using that foam stuff too much. I mean, I'm going to see what that dunk looks like in a couple minutes, but for now, I'm going to stick to my eraser. I'm going to reapply. Running low in this can, but we'll reapply now. We're going to let that sit for another 10 minutes, and we'll come back to that in a minute. Let's go take a look at this dunk here. Uh, looks pretty dry. Feels pretty dry. Is this the shoe? Can't even tell which one is which. Oh, okay, that's not even it. All right, so this is the one we applied the dirt to, obviously because the lace is out. Uh, let's see. This coloration up here is still slightly apparent. You still have your brush of the suede, which is nice. Also from using the eraser and the foam, which actually worked out pretty well. Now this side, I'm gonna. This side's not really that dry yet, but you can see a slight ring around where I was using the cleaner. I don't know if you can see it. Put it up a little closer. You can see a slight ring right in this area here, right where I was using the cleaner. So already right there, I can tell that I don't want to keep using this stuff, or at least, where was it? What can did I use? Where'd you go, buddy? Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, the aerosol can that I applied directly to from Foot Locker for Suede and New Buck, obviously, is not the way to go. So let's get this the fuck out of here, All right? So, so far, my, my winning candidate right now is the Mint, which is probably the one you're going to find the most of. This Suede and Nubuck Penguin stuff. I mean, either way, it's probably about the same consistency. I could probably read and see which one has the same chemicals. They probably have the same chemicals. I really don't care. You could find this in Foot Locker along with the brush because it's Mint as well. Two products that I stand by. Um, yeah, go for it. I'm going to get this out of the way. That dirt did come off the toe box, which is nice. It's still a little wet, though. So I'll give a little bit more time before I jump back into that. I'm gonna take a quick little recess and possibly go get something to eat. I'll be back.
All right, guys, conclusion time. Just gonna bang this out, try and get it done with. I know the video's getting kind of long now, and it's killing you and me. So let's do this. All right, so we went over dunks. We went over Jason Mark and how using too much will affect your suede, new buck, whatever. Um, too much suede, discoloration. Uh, enough suede, enough cleaner to clean the suede was fine, but it still flattens the material, gives it that rugged feel instead of that soft suede feel. If you really have to use it to clean something, it's really bad, then I would say go for it. Uh, they also put out, I believe, a softer bristled brush. So, I mean, I haven't picked anything else from Jason Mark aside from this because I only use it to clean leather now. But, I mean, go for it. Check it out. I mean, maybe I'll check it out too, but I heard there's a, a suede cleaner out in Europe right now that is making its way to the States. So, if that happens, I'll do a review of that as well. But for now, stay clear of using Jason Mark on your suede. Unless it's dire. I, honestly, I just wouldn't do it. I would stick to the mint brush that I showed you as well on the tanneries. Cleaning the midsole, cleaning the toe box, cleaning whatever. Uh, put a little time and effort into what you're doing and it pays itself off. Uh, eraser, contact, brush a little while. Use the outside brush to clear that the, the eraser clippings off. And repeat a couple of times so you get it to your liking. It's well worth it. Seven bucks. Say no more. I told you I was going to bring out a pair of shoes that I destroyed using Jason Mark. Uh, you can see the discoloration on the toe box. Obviously this one. And then I tried to bring it back to life using a million other things. So the suede is like really hairy now. But whatever. Steer clear using that shoe on suede. Love that pair of shoes. And I'll never feel the same way about them again. I told you that using repellents are awesome for shoes. I'll show you what the concept looks like with the Crepertech. But for now, I'm going to show you this. Clean, bristle, suede, movement, back and forth, great. No really suede movement back and forth. Stiff to the touch. I don't like the way it feels. The repellent works because this is repel well. I already know it works. It's, I mean, it's good, but I'm, like I said, it takes the the feel away from the material, which is really why you buy shoes, you know? I like the way the material feels. I like the way it feels on my foot. I like the way it looks on my foot. So why am I paying for that and then losing it with protecting it? I'm gonna put these away, put the other ones away. I'm gonna show you what the concepts looks like after I put these dunks out of the way. I'm gonna bang this out. Wow, like Dunkin' Milk and Cookies, bong. I mean, I drip dry it, let it shake off. If I'm wearing them, I kick against the wall just to get the rest of the beaded water off and you can see, you can probably see a couple of speckles of water on it. All you do is pat it dry or like I said, kick it off, but it'll never seep inside of the shoe. Fantastic, can't go wrong. I'll do a review of these later on if you're really looking forward to it, looking for it. Um, but it's not gonna be today. I'll put it out maybe later on this week sometime. I gotta go pick up the crate. I had to send somebody home with it because I couldn't carry it. Uh, aside from that, mint products, if you're gonna use mint, for the suede of the new buck cleaning and you really need to clean and maybe this doesn't work maybe it doesn't get everything you need off and you use the jason mark i would suggest using this uh no discoloration doesn't really do anything as far as the material goes uh, i think i used it on the dunk before it worked out pretty well it kept the softness didn't really clean that much but i mean if you, you feel like it's gonna work or you feel like you really need to the other main product that i use on the go is this aerosol shit. Uh, basically if I'm running out of the house and I really want to clean a sole and I don't want to feel like breaking out a container, pouring some Jason Mark, brushing up a shoe, cleaning it off, putting it underwater, and doing it three or four times, I grab this, I grab a brush that I use for the gone to go, hit it, hit the midsole, and I'm done. So I like this stuff too, just throwing it out there. I'm not promoting mint. They didn't give me this shit for free. I paid for it. So that is not even in the cards for you guys. Uh, Crep Protect. That Jason Mark on the leather. You could use Rejuvenate too. I have nothing against Rejuvenate. I just, you know, I like Jason Mark too, as far as leather goes and midsole goes. Um, aside from that, I hope you guys really liked the video. I showed you everything I had to show you. If you liked it, throw a thumbs up. If you didn't, fuck you, because I put a lot of time in this shit. Um, and lastly, subscribe. You haven't subscribed yet. And uh, be on the lookout for that concepts video. I'll probably throw up the some pictures. I was out there for a couple days, so I got a lot of footage. I got some pictures from like four days of uh, camping out, and then I'll do some of the in-store stuff. I got a chance to shoot a video for a friend of mine who interviewed Dion a couple minutes before the store opened up, so I'll probably link you to if you don't already follow 
uh, Dan Tier Zero. I'll, I'll throw a link on so you can shoot him a follow and check out that interview as well. Um, thanks, guys. Peace.